Uh, Lynn has been sifting through those court documents all day. He's joining us live now. So, Da, it sounds like this is really giving us the clearest picture yet of how Bob Lee and his alleged killer were connected, right? Yes, yeah, Sarah, we're definitely getting more information. And the court hearing today actually lasted only just a few minutes. In fact, the arraignment was postponed to April 25th. But you're right. Today, we'll find out, we found out uh, more about why and how the Bob Lee murder happened. Investigators believe accused murder Nima Momeni was angry with Bob Lee over Lee's relationship with this woman, Momeni's younger sister. Her name is Karza Momeni. She's married to San Francisco plastic surgeon Dr. Dino Liasnia, seen on the right. It's unclear what kind of relationship Lee and the sister was in, but investigators say they had known each other for years. It appears from witness statements that Mr. Lee is somehow a friend uh, of this woman, and that is what the connection is between the two men. In newly released court papers, investigators say tech executive Bob Lee, a close friend identified only as witness one, and Kazar Momeni were drinking at an apartment on the 1500 block of Mission Street in the afternoon of April 3rd. In the charging document, investigators wrote, female was married, but the relationship had possibly been in jeopardy. Witness one was unsure if victim and female had an intimate relationship. Investigators say a few hours later, Bob Lee and his friend, Witness One, went to Lee's hotel. In the hotel room, investigators say Witness One overheard a conversation between Lee and accused killer Nima Momeni. The defendant was questioning Lee if his sister was doing drugs or anything inappropriate. Witness One said that victim had to reassure defendant nothing inappropriate had happened. There appeared to be some discussion about whether or not she had used drugs um, between the two men, uh, but at this time, that's all that we've released. Investigators say the sister lives in a condo at the Millennium Tower. They say surveillance footage showed Lee entering the tower on April 4th, 1239 a.m. Investigators say the defendant and his sister were already at the condo. They say surveillance footage show the defendant and Lee leaving the Millennium Tower in the defendant's white BMW Z4 at 2.03 a.m. Investigators say Momeni drove Lee to the 400 block of Main Street, where the two got out of the car and talked on the sidewalk for about five minutes. Investigators believe Momeni ended the conversation by stabbing Lee three times, once in the hip and twice in the chest. Investigators say they recovered a bloody silver kitchen knife with a four-inch blade. Investigators say surveillance footage in the area recorded an injured Lee walking and looking for help as the defendant sped away in his BMW. Police found Bob Lee unresponsive and lying in the street at around 2.35 a.m. He died a short time later at SF General. Investigators say at one point, the defendant's sister texted Lee, just wanted to make sure you're doing okay, because I know Nima came way down hard on you. And thank you for being such a classy man, handling it with class. Love you. When's the last time you saw your brother? Kazar Momeni held her husband's hand as they waited for the Friday court hearing at the Hall of Justice. She refused to answer any questions. Yeah, cameras were not allowed inside the courtroom. That's why you're looking at a sketch there. It actually shows at one point uh, the family members actually using their hands to, to make that heart symbol to show their support for the defendant Momeni. And Momeni actually replied with his, using his hands to gesture the heart symbol back to the family members. And that's what you are looking there. Now, uh, Momeni remains in custody, and we understand if convicted, Sarah, he is facing 26 years to life in prison. Wow, just um, a really fascinating story that lays out there. So, Di, I know those court documents also uh, lay out another exchange with Bob Lee's friend uh, and Kazar Momeni, the suspect's sister. That's correct. Uh, that witness, actually, a close friend, was asking, hey, have you seen Bob? I haven't seen him all morning. And this was the morning of April 4th. And apparently, according to investigators in that charging document, the sister texted back saying that Bob... Bob Lee was only at her condo for a sec. Obviously, we're learning from the timestamp uh, that was not correct. Mm. All right, Da, thank you so much. And we're learning more about how the murder suspect knew Bob Lee.
And as we've been saying, it seems it's all centered around the suspect's sister. Ann McAvoy joins us now with more on that part of the story. Ann. Yeah, Ryan, and as Dom mentioned, before Lee was killed, Momeni confronted him asking about any inappropriate contact or drug use with his sister. They were together in the sister's apartment before the killing. And now it is the district attorney's job to spell out what kind of planning might have gone into the murder that took place after they left, after a car ride and a five-minute discussion on the street. Right now, Momeni is charged with murder in the first degree, which requires premeditation versus second degree murder, which is a crime of passion. At this point in time, um, we are still very much looking at first degree murder. This is a person who was in his vehicle with a kitchen knife. That's not something most of us carry around uh, at all times with us. And so that this was something that he intended to do. Today, D.A. Jenkins said where the knife used in the murder came from is still under investigation, including whether Momeni might have gotten it from his sister's kitchen before they left. She also said we may never know if Momeni was on any drugs himself that night. It's too late for toxicology tests to be accurate now that he is under arrest. And Jenkins said that Bob Lee did not identify his killer before he died. She also revealed that Momeni had hired a lawyer before he was arrested yesterday morning. Ryan.